Welcome back, Lab Technician here. Today we have an intriguing topic to discuss, a question that often lingers in the minds of aspiring TAs. How much does a laboratory technician earn at a university in Austria? Stick around as we dive into this fascinating subject and reveal some interesting facts. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our science-based content. Now let's get started. Laboratory technicians play a vital role in scientific research, assisting researchers and scientists in the pursuit of knowledge. Their work involves conducting experiments, collecting and analyzing data, and maintaining laboratory equipment. But what about their salaries in Austria? Let's find out. Several factors influence the salary of a laboratory technician in Austria. These include education, experience, location, and the specific field of research. Keep in mind that these figures are approximate and can vary from one university to another. Are you ready to explore the numbers? The salary range for laboratory technicians in Austria typically depends on their level of expertise and experience. Let's break it down. Entry-level laboratory technicians in Austria, usually with a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, can expect to earn around 2,100 to 2,800 per month. This range may vary slightly depending on the university and location. I can tell you from my own personal experience when I was hired as a TA at my university after finishing my master's degree that TAs in Austria earn 2,530 euros before taxes. After taxes, it's approximately 1,850 euros. Since I was working in a microbiology lab, I get a little bonus of 100 euros extra to compensate the risk of infecting myself with pathogenic microorganisms on a daily basis. The salary I just mentioned was before the inflation. This year, they increased the salary by approximately 10%, meaning that I earned 2,799 euros, including the bonus which results in a net income of approximately 2,020 euros, 14 times a year. Another speciality about my employer is that I will get another raise this year after completing trainings offered by the university. From July on, I will earn 3,100 euros before taxes, which will be 2,160 euros after taxes 14 times a year. As laboratory technicians gain experience and specialize in their field, their earning potential increases. With several years of experience, laboratory technicians at universities in Austria can earn between 2,800 and 3,500 per month. Remember, these numbers can still fluctuate depending on the specific circumstances. Advancing to senior laboratory technician or supervisory positions, professionals can expect even higher salaries. In these roles, the monthly income can range from 3,500 to 4,500. Again, keep in mind that this range is an approximation, and I have personally never seen that kind of salary at a university. You get the salary at companies like pharma companies where you can also work as a TA. Besides salaries, laboratory technicians at universities in Austria often enjoy several additional benefits. These may include health insurance, pension plans, and paid leave, and opportunities for professional development and career advancements within the university system. To summarize, laboratory technicians in Austria have the opportunity to earn competitive salaries based, based on their education, experience, and specialization. Entry-level positions typically start around 2,100 to 2,800 per month, while experienced technicians can earn between 2,800 and 3,500 euros per month. Advancement into senior or supervisory roles can lead to salaries ranging from 3,500 to 4,500 per month. Remember, these figures are approximate and may vary depending on various factors. If you are considering a career as a TA, it's essential to research the specific university and field you are interested in for more accurate information. That wraps up our discussion on laboratory technician salaries at universities in Austria. We hope this information provides you with a better understanding of earning potential in this profession. If you found this, tip, this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow science enthusiasts. And as always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.